Hey ladies, so welcome back. So today we're going to be creating a hairstyle called the Mermaid Braid. I'm sure you ladies have seen this hairstyle floating around, seen pictures of it, seen it on social media. It's a real pretty braid hairstyle that's very simple to do. And it's like I said, it's very pretty and it's cost efficient. Okay, so first off, I want to share a product that was sent to me from this company called Certified Bella. And they sent me some of their pomade. It's like an edge control. And they reached out to me and wanted me to try it. So I said, sure. So basically, I'm going to open it up so you ladies can see. It's like a clear, clear pomade. And I'll be using that on my hair. Okay. I've seen this product on Facebook. It recently went viral. So when they reached out to me, I was like, okay, definitely I'll give it a try and give you guys my thoughts on it. Okay, so let's jump into the hairstyle. As you all can see, I have my hair. It has been washed, blow dry, and then I just ran a flat iron over it. It's not super, super straight, but it'll do. So as you all can see, I have my hair parted into two ponytails, and this will serve as our braids. So basically the first part, how I did it, I did like a half moon. So I parted from my temple right here all the way to the edge of my ear. And like I said, I did a half moon on a curve. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hair out of the ponytail and I am going to take my comb and I'm going to section off a piece of my hair about right here. Okay, and then I'm just going to put the rubber band on that and get that out of the way. Then I'm just going to run the comb through my hair. I'm going to take some of the pomade and I'm going to put that on my hair. Now the instructions on the pomade says a little goes a long way, so they encourage you to use a little and it says the more you smooth, the straighter and sleek the hair become. Okay. So I have about that much. And I'm just going to put this on my hair. I have the pomade. I put it on the back side of my hair. And I also put some on the front side of my hair. And so far my hair is laying smooth and sleek. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is. I am going to French braid my hair. So I'm going to start right here. And I'm just going to make a French braid. And I'm going to go all the way down with my French braid. And I'm basically, as I'm French braiding, I'm pulling that hair that's in the front. I mean in the back, I'm pulling it to the front. So I'm doing a French braid that's basically going to end up at the front of my head. So I'm just going to get my hair French braided all the way down. I'm back and as you all can see, I am done French braiding my hair. And that pomade is really laying my edges down really, really well. Okay, I'm going to turn around so you all can see how the back looks. Okay, so the next step, what we're going to do is you're going to want to grab you some braid hair, and I'm using this model model braid hair, okay. This reminds me of the expression hair. The only reason why I grabbed it is because it was on sale, and it gave me three bundles of hair for like $4. So this is the hair. So I removed my first rubber band off of my section of hair. So all I'm going to do is take the braid hair, and I'm going to start braiding this into my hair so i'm just going to take it and just start making an individual braid with it and then you just want to just braid it so once i get it wrapped around my hair about three or four times i'm going to take some of the hair and split it in three sections. So I have my three sections. 
and then I'm just going to continue my braid and I'm going to braid the hair all the way down. So we're just doing an individual braid and make sure as you're braiding you're untangling the hair. I have both of the braids completed. I have two big individual box braids. And I want to point out when doing your braid, you don't really want to braid it too tight because we're going to actually pull this braid loose. So don't do it too tight. All right. So now what I'm about to do, I'm about to start at the bottom, not down here, but I'm just going to start pulling the braid apart. And the effect of the braid, like I mentioned earlier in the video, it's all about a messy look. But it's going to look a little messy, but it's going to be cute in the end. So I'm just going to continue pulling this braid apart. And I'm going to do this all the way up the strand. And then I'll show you guys what we're going to do with the next step to this hairstyle after we get it pulled the way we want it to look. Okay, I am done fluffing out my braid. And this is how it looks compared to this one right here. I didn't fluff this one yet because I want to show you ladies how, it, just to give you like a side by side. All right. And when you're pulling the hair, Make sure you pull it to your liking. Some ladies may not like the fullness of how I did mine. But as you guys know, I like extravagant hair. So I really, really fluffed my braid. So the next step is we're going to secure this braid onto our French braid. Now you can do this two ways. You can either get you some bobby pins, the jumbo bobby pins. Or you can use needle and thread and sew the braid down. So I'm going to show you what to do with the bobby pin. So you'll just take the pin and you'll take the braid and you're just going to attach it from the back to your braid. And you'll do this all the way down. Okay? So that's the bobby pin way. But I'm going to sew mine. So I'm going to grab my needle and thread. And I am going to start sewing from the back. So I'm just going to go through the braid. Make sure that it's hitting my braid. And then I'm just going to come up through the braid. And so, and I'm going to sew all the way down the braid until I feel that it's secure. So I've moved down the strand of the braid and I am now at the end, the tail end of my braid. So all you want to do is just sew this braid to the extension. So I'm just gonna go in through the back and sew it. And then I'm just gonna bring the needle back through the front and sew it and then go through the back of the braid and sew it. And you just keep doing this until you get your natural braid sewn down, okay? And then I'm going to fluff this braid out and sew it. And then I'll be back for the final look of this style. And if you're using the bobby pins, make sure you're, bobby, you're basically bobby pinning your tails to the braid from the back. So I am done with my braid sewing them down and as you all can see I added these little gold little leaves 
I got those from the beauty supply store. So basically, all you do is once you're done sewing both of the braids, what I did was I overlapped my two braids. There's some space in there, but it's sewn together. So you just overlap them, and then you just sew them together. So I'm loving how it turned out. It is giving me mermaid. It is giving me bohemian chic and all of the above. So I'm definitely loving this hairstyle. I hope you ladies found it easy to do. I'm going to sew, do one more stitch, and then I'm going to turn around so you guys can see how the back looks. And when you're sewing your braid, you just want to make sure that you're covering your natural braid because you don't want, you want to give the illusion that you actually French braided the extension to your hair. So I'm just going to just knot that. And then I'm going to cut it. So it's knotted. I'm going to cut it. And we are done. You can dip this in hot water. I think that's what I'm going to do after I finish with the video. I think I'm just going to dip the ends in hot water. But I'm going to turn around so you guys can get a view of the back. And if you like, if you're feeling how my edges are laying down, definitely check out Certified Bella for their pomades. Like I said, so far so good. It is laying my edges down, so definitely check them out. And I want to thank you ladies for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.